I swear that gets better every single time I make it. than the rest of the room in the house. So I just wanted to apologize for that. But today's video is actually gonna be my iced coffee recipe. So I have two different ways to share with you today of how to make homemade iced coffee, iced latte, whatever you wanna call it. Both of these are really awesome. They taste like real iced coffee like you would get from Starbucks. So it's kind of like a good Starbucks copycat recipe because we are using a cold brew for one of these methods and then the other one is gonna be more like a traditional latte. So anyways, we have to taste this, of course. I swear this gets better every single time I make it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video of two different ways to make iced coffee at home. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so down below. I have a lot more fun videos coming in the future. And if you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed it. And I will also leave my links to my other social media in the description box down below for Twitter and Instagram. So you guys can follow me on there if you want to. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into this video. So for this first method, we're gonna be doing a cold brew. And I just have in my blender bottle two cups of water mixed with about a half a cup of coffee grounds. You could make more if you wanna double the recipe. You could use a glass jar or whatever you want. And I basically just let that steep in the fridge overnight so that it could get nice and strong. And I'm just gonna pour this through my pour over coffee little set thing. And this is just gonna obviously strain all of the grounds out. You could use any kind of like strainer that you have or cheesecloth if it's really fine because you wanna get all of that out. I'm just letting that strain through and then I'm gonna get rid of those leftover grounds. But I'm actually going to double strain this. So I'm pouring it back into the clean blender bottle that I used. Now I'm just going to take a traditional disposable coffee filter and I'm going to put it on top of this little pour over coffee filter thing to get a really nice fine strain so that it's really smooth and there's no kind of goopiness left over from it sitting in the grounds overnight. So I'm just letting that strain through. I do think this is faster than brewing a cup of coffee in the morning but it does take a little bit of time to strain through so just keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm just going to throw away that coffee filter and there you have your nice fresh cold brew. So I'm just adding a little bit of this into a cup to start and I'm going to mix my sweetener in at this point. You could use coffee syrup, honey, whatever you want. I'm going to use some coconut sugar just because this is a little bit healthier and I like that kind of brown sugar taste that it has. I'm adding about a tablespoon of this and I'm going to mix it in and then I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla as well for some flavor just really natural and delicious. You could also add a little bit of cinnamon in there if you want. I think that tastes really good as well. And then here I'm just gonna add ice because it's an iced coffee and it tastes really good, really cold and very refreshing. And then I'm adding in some almond milk. You could use regular milk or creamer or just heavy cream, whatever you prefer. And then I'm just adding in as much as I want and then I'll fill it back up with the coffee. This kind of helps me to gauge how much milk I'm adding and it looks really pretty doing it like this. And there you have a delicious cup of cold brew. I love using these reusable straws as well. This next version is actually going to be with my espresso machine, so you could use any espresso machine, a Nespresso machine, or anything that makes espresso shots. And this is the Cafe La Lave Espresso, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it comes in this green packaging and I absolutely love this stuff. It's so good, it's the best espresso that I have tried yet. I'm just doing this the way I would regularly do a espresso shot, so however you would do that at home, if you have any machine to make that with, or you could just try to brew really, really strong coffee um, and maybe do it like that. I haven't tried that before. And then I'm just 
just gonna take this and pour that espresso shot into my cup and then at this point I do my sweetener so I'm using a Tirani syrup this is in the flavor gingerbread I just put in a little bit of this and then I mix that around and again put my ice in at this point I'm actually gonna add half and half to this because I think it tastes really good it's a little more creamy than almond milk obviously and I don't have regular milk usually but I do have cream or half and half so I'm actually topping this off with water and that's just kind of more like an Americano style or you could just skip the half and half and water and just add milk so it's like a traditional latte and that's amazing as well all right guys so that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye